did the medical training for the COVID year long practice. But I think we keep hammering at the, you know, the doors, and as there are places that are introducing these treatments, Excuse me, and, sir. I'm uh, sorry. the data will be published, and I think the, the foundation will have to go for it. But you're absolutely right. I, I, I think you don't want to, you don't want to uh, miss the, the picture of being able to also uh, expand the, the teaching that is in a medical school curriculum, and I think that's probably going to happen in, in, in the near future. That's all very, that's, that, that obviously is a wonderful uh, point of view from Dr. Tyvon Rich, uh, former head of radiation oncology at University of Virginia Medical Center. And uh, Ty, do you want to say anything else about your own training, anything else that we can uh, put with that and, and uh, what you see as uh, perhaps coming in the long term? Uh, you mentioned research. What, what type of time frame does it take for research to be done and to be considered uh, legitimate and how much of a mass of, of the body of research has to be in place for people to really be uh, convinced of a given outcome and the, the legitimacy of a given therapy? Well, I think there's two, two ways of answering that question. One is, one looks at the literature and, and research coming out of the Orient, the mainland, uh, Taiwan, Korea, Japan, on uh, basic uh, uh,